What is up all you gamers out there, my name is Toxic Gamer and welcome back to Life is Strange Before the Storm. So this is episode, well it is episode 3 that we're doing, it's not actually episode 3, <laughs> I meant to say this is like part 2 of episode 3, but anyways, yeah um so let's get back into this. So you'd be so loud in real life. <laughs> I swear we always fix this up. Some other episode we did, but like, okay. Work with me here. Did you just fuck it up more? <laughs> oh, did she fucking drop the fuck? Boy. <laughs> Better. But still needs a bit more love. I can salvage this beast. I just need to find the right tool for each problem. Dude. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's on the radio. <laughs> that works. What's that? It's not like I need a manual. <laughs> but I'm really glad it's here. Yeah. Say hi to the fans, Skip. Oh. I bet Dad would have liked the idea of me using his tools to fix a ride. I understand you work as a security guard. Let's check this. Is that true? This connection is pretty shaky. I could fix this battery post if I could get a good enough grip on it. Hmm. Skip Matthews of Pisshead has traded a bad Oh, winch. Yeah. Hang on. Let me check the others. I can definitely see some problems. This thing seems pretty gunked up. Hmm. I think I should move on to something else. Yeah. That's mega green. It's pretty loose. How can I tighten it? I went. <laughs> Yeah, I knew it. Mm. Uh, the cat. The cat. How's that? The distributor cap looks pretty gross. They need mm. something small to scrape the gunk off the cat. A wench? What the fuck? Uh, okay. I think that just f kind of fuck it up a little. I mean, oh well. Looks like someone tried to patch this thing up. Sometime before I was born. At this point, I duct think tape. that ancient duct tape is better than anything I can do. Better leave it be. Yeah. It's all good. Alright, so let's just Not do it. What? Okay, how about that? Much better. Alright. Okay, so we can. Wait, did I check that? I didn't check that. <laughs> I didn't realize that was a. It's tiny. Okay. It was just small. I didn't realize that. This thing is going to fuck up. <laughs> Let's blow on it. Maybe. That's fucking disgusting. <laughs> what the f 
fuck? Why would you even put your mouth on that? <laughs> That's how you fucking get Ebola. What the hell? Nothing doing. Oh yeah? Okay. How about a screwdriver? And then we go like shabam. Won't do anything. Oh! Wait, no, I'm fucking retarded. Hang on. Wait, will this work on this? Okay. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was gonna like grab the fucking cables. Yeah. That should help keep shit distributed. Mm. Well, fuck. The boy at the reattach. What's that? Oh, that's cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. He texting? Huh. Alright. Go back from once you came. <laughs> Alright, so now it's, Okay, yeah, let's grab the pliers. Oh, wait, I thought those were wires. Okay, well, never mind. Alright, let's just fucking do that. There. Fits like a. Deadly electric glove. <laughs> there we go. Spark plugs busted. Carbon deposits. Of course. You told me how to. Hmm. <clears throat> All right. Is this a sick shit? Oh, it is. Baby. <laughs> Holy shit. Your hair. It's so <laughs> badass. <laughs> I was gonna say hot. Oh. But even yeah, better. Badass too. That shirt looks awesome too. I might add. You like anything that starts fire. Hey. Not sure if you saw, but <laughs> someone moved your truck. No way. Should we check it out? Wait, how? Did you leave the keys in there? Hey, Price. Nice wheels. What is up, Frank? Frank? What's the occasion? 
It's his fucking bar mitzvah. Frank here's becoming a man. Aren't you, big guy? What's Dude. he doing here? Hey, I thought we were cool after that Drew North thing. Don't you want to be cool? Uh, yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to say fuck off because he's like he big boy, <laughs> and he's probably want to like fuck me. So I just want to talk yeah. to Frank. As long as you don't get in the way, we'll be fine. <laughs> I told you, she's like this. Gotta say, I really dig the whole tough girl thing. Frank was right about you. How'd you like to work full time for us? Boy. Don't fucking touch her. Yeah, how old is this guy? <laughs> fucking 40? <laughs> like, what the hell? Why is it that chicks think it's okay to hit me? But if I lay a single finger on them, suddenly it's a whole other thing. She didn't even fucking hit you. She pushed you. It's a whole nother story there. Frank says you were asking about a client of his. That true? Yeah. Yeah, it's true. I don't see why you should give a shit. You don't. Maybe I'll show you. See, you two Nancy Drews decided it would be a good idea to call your drug dealer and ask about his business. I didn't go to a fancy academy, but that doesn't strike me as smart. Maybe it was this man's sunny disposition that confused you, but he's got a whole other side to him that I don't think you'd like. Should we let them see it? We're just talking here. <sighs> okay, then let's talk. I want to know, right now, why you give a shit about this woman. Um... Why do you care so much? Why do you care so much? Because... Fuck you. <laughs> I'm asking fuck? the questions here. Look, none of this matters. All we care about is that you stop asking questions. Got it? No. Uh, dude. Tell me where she is. Now, Rachel. Wait a minute. <laughs> no way. What the fuck is your problem? Rachel? As in... Rachel Amber? <laughs> that makes so much sense. This is James Amber's fucking kid. Damon, your dad's a real piece of shit, you know. Uh, yeah, we know. We're aware. Not sure what that has to do with us. Me neither. But I'd like to find out. Here's what happens next. He pulls a gun out. Come on, man. Oh, they're just that's kids. nice. No, they're not. This one is the fucking DA's daughter. And right now, she's going to fill me in on what her daddy is up to and how he's connected to that whore everyone's asking about. Damon, calm down. We're still talking, everything's still cool. No need to get crazy. Oh. That's one way to do it. Fucking bitch. Cut the fucking knife. Boy. What the fuck? Chloe, go now! Never knew I could be speech. 
Boy. Dude, I thought he, he stabbed him in the fucking chest. Oh, wait, is she? I mean, she did a stab in the fucking arm. Go to the fucking hospital! Boy. Dude, what the fuck? She, dude, she didn't even try to like do anything. She, I, I bet she knew that knife was coming at her, but yet she just got stabbed. Like Bodie, could have at least done something. And fucking Chloe didn't do anything, and then Frank didn't do anything until like, until afterwards. But, like, boy. She's gonna be okay, buddy. She just got stabbed down. Booty! Oh. Rachel is going to Oh, that's the good. The knife damaged her brachial artery, but didn't cut it. She's out of surgery. And now she's resting. Chloe, what happened? Uh -huh. It's my fault. I should have listened to you. Sarah's mixed up somehow with this psycho Damon Merrick. I know exactly who Damon Merrick is. Start over and tell me everything. Did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah? I'm not yes. going to chastise or blame you, Chloe. But I need the whole story. So, I got my dealer to meet us, since he knows Sarah. Frank Bowers. Yeah, that's right. But, Damon showed up with him. What did Merrick want? Didn't he? Oh, wait. he wanted he wanted to ask about Sarah, right? He asked us why we were so interested in Sarah. And what did you say? No, nothing. Of course. Is that how it became violent? Um. Oh, tackling Rachel, Rachel got angry. It was, it was actually Rachel who got angry. She was furious that he wouldn't tell her where Sarah was. This is exactly what I've been afraid of. Rachel won't let anything stop her. You could have helped. What the fuck? She was protecting me too. Yeah. It wasn't only that. She 
she was already angry about Damon pushing me around. She is like her mother. Quick-tempered, rash. I've always been afraid of losing her the way I lost Sarah. What happened next? Damon had a knife out. We all could see it. But then he said something that pissed Rachel off. And she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him. And then he stabbed her. I keep thinking that maybe I could have done something. But when he attacked her, I just froze. It's not your fault. It we is though. So we could have fucking done something. Truck. I heard a scream. But I don't know what happened. And then we were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth. I'll see if I can pull some strings with Ray. Maybe get you back into Blackwell. Um. What if Rachel still wants to meet Sarah? After all this? I'm hoping she'll finally see reason. I was told that if Rachel had arrived only a few minutes later, she might not have... Um... Thank you, Chloe. You saved my world. It will be some time before Rachel wakes up. I promise. I'll let you know when she does. Okay. Thanks. That's great. So what about the uh, the cat? <laughs> hey, Steph. How's Mikey? Pretty good. Miss Amber just told me Rachel's going to be okay. I'm really glad. Yeah. Well. Our room's just down the hall. You should come by. Okay. Sure. Definitely. Huh. Alright. I don't think I can sit still any longer. Might as well... Stretch my legs while I wait for uh. Rachel to wake up. Well, we will go to Steph in the next episode. Um, so, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one.